I was 12 years old and I found out I was diabetic. I was on a, actually on a church trip with my friends and uh, church family. They uh, called my parents on the bus ride home when I went into a diabetic coma. So I, as soon as I got home, my parents took me to the hospital and my blood sugars were over. They couldn't even register on the, the hospital meter, so they took me, or they got me straight insulin into my AV and I came to finally and found out I was diabetic. There are treatments for different disorders that I have due to the diabetes. So um, the latest is dialysis. I do peritoneal dialysis, so I do that um, four times a day, every day. And recently I just started doing a cycler treatment, so that's, um, I do that throughout the night so um, I can still do my full-time job. I had so many complications from diabetes. My organs were being attacked, my kidneys were failing, my stomach was no longer working. I've had numerous laser eye surgeries um, from the blood vessels rupturing in my eyes. Um, I was getting neuropathy in my feet. I've had pancreatitis. So the only option was to have a kidney transplant and in order to protect the kidney transplant, they wanted to do a pancreas transplant as well. So once I get the transplant, I will have a working pancreas, which means I will no longer be diabetic and I will have a normal lifestyle. When I became involved with Swedish Hospital, I um, was worried about the financial burden that this was going to um, put on me because I knew that I had great health insurance, but I know that because of all of the health issues that I've had, health insurance doesn't pay for everything, and I've had um, huge health costs my whole life. So I approached them about financial assistance, and they said that uh, at the time of transplant, they, um, they could talk to me about things then, but for now, they have an organization that uh, they could send me to. And so I contacted Help Hope Live, and I asked them about what they could do for me. Once I, once I got a hold of them, they were great to work with, and they actually had a combined fund drive number. She was looking for a nonprofit that could maybe help her do some uh, fundraising, and so we were we said, hey, we'll contact the combined fund drive if if you find one, and we'll get you a number. We've done this before, so we'll get you her number. And asked about getting a number, and it was very quick. And once we had the number, we could just run with fundraising. Wow. <laughs> well, I haven't had the transplant yet, but. When I do, I owe my life to them. CFD has changed my life. I, I cannot thank the CFD enough. I know numerous people who work at the Department of Health who have benefited from the CFD. I am one. I, um, every day I look next door and the, the people next to me sitting by me, and I just want to thank them because I never know who, who has helped me.